Never ever have enough time to play at all You know everybody wants to walk in someone else's shoes Everyone's forgotten My wiring for the push button control, uh, about 99% complete. It was quite an adventure. Uh, I learned an awful lot about electronics, probably more than I ever thought I would. <laughs> I'm not going to try and bore you with a with a bunch of stuff, but I'll I'll just kind of let you know what happened. So. Originally, when I did this, my LEDs were not lighting up like they were supposed to. And so I thought for a while it was a result of not having my resistance correct between uh, the push button and, and the LED. Because there's a kind of a magic number. You have to have no less than 3.5 volts on one side of the push button and no more than 0 0.08 volts on the other side because you have to configure the node in the computer to recognize a difference between those two values. And if you don't have the right difference in there, then uh, it will always either be high or either be low. So it has to recognize that difference between high and low. So I thought my resistors were, were messed up. Well, as it turns out, that's not the problem at all. My problem was, as I was copying and pasting the wrong information uh, from the node. And again, I'm not going to try and, and get too deep into this now, I will try and explain later, but, but these things are, you have consumers and producers. And what I was doing is I was taking uh, producer information and trying to feed it to a consumer. And needless to say, I confused the computer and so my light wouldn't light up. So that, that has been fixed. So, like it's supposed to, this is uh, push button one, which is my dual gauge turnout. You can see I push it, the light comes on, stays on, which if I've done things right, will be uh, the diverging route. Push it once again, it switches. So, everything is working just Pretty peachy. I'm actually going in reverse order of the layout here. And then here is my last turnout. I have not configured it. Uh, and because I think I'm going to try and film that so that you can see what I'm actually doing in JMRI and with the LCC node. Another little event occurred that, that I thought I would go ahead and share. Uh, I didn't have edge connectors for any of these tortoises when I began. And I didn't pay real close attention when I bought them I got them off of eBay. I have no idea who from or where. You know, you go on eBay and you look for free shipping and or whatever is the cheapest with shipping. And when they arrived, I, I recognized real quick because, you know, I'm good at math, that I had 10 positions on the edge connector. And it's, you know, I, I looked at it and said, well, that's not going to be any real big deal. Uh, I just there'll just be two two connectors out on the outside that I won't need to make use of. So I hooked them up 
and my first three tortoises I had zero problems with. No, no problems whatsoever. I put the edge connector on, everything worked like it was supposed to other than my lights. And then I got to this one, which I think I mentioned in my last video, and all of a sudden it stopped working. And it was, I was getting a dead short on the layout. Well, after, after I kind of messed around some more with the LEDs on the panel and kind of gave up on it a little bit, I came back and, and tried again and I couldn't find anything wrong with the edge connector. But then I finally figured out that this can slide too far left or right. In other words, the, the corners of the edge connector themselves do not line up with the corners of the tortoise. So you have to be very careful about how you place them on there or you can get your, uh, your positions going overlapping each other, which is exactly what I did. And unfortunately, when I did that, I had already hardwired my layout in and I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I had my layout hardwired in and so I got that short and I guess it fed back into my stall motor driver. So I blew a channel on one of my uh, stall motor drivers, which happened to be the one associated with this tortoise. So now we fast forward to doing all of this wiring here. <laughs> I've got one channel from here that is dead. You know, follow the ribbon cable over here. This channel over here is dead. No voltage coming through at all. Nothing's working like it's supposed to. I finally figure out what's going on. And luckily, I've got seven turnouts. I had eight channels. So I just shifted everything over one. And so I was able to make do with with bypassing channel four all together, which means I had to shift all of this wiring over. You can see this. Uh, so here's channel four I skipped and then ended up using channel eight, which I never should have been using because I wasn't gonna use it. But again, it made for a lot of confusion on, you know, I was pushing buttons on the panel and <laughs> the wrong tortoises were moving with the panel button and everything else and it was it was something else for a while but i finally got it all sorted out uh before the end of the day i may actually put the layout back up on its feet uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon and run some trains with push button control wiring with the exception of future semaphores is complete did just a little bit of tidying up. Try to keep everything at a 90 degree angle where I could. Uh, kind of a wiring loom that goes off there that's not 90 degrees, but some of the wiring was, you know, I could not envision it until it actually became time to do it. Uh, and of course I had this issue here with that edge connector. So I've got this wire going way over here to that breakout board so that I'm making use of channel five with CP4. Uh, that was because I lost channel four in my stall motor driver. At least I think I did. I may not actually have lost it. I may have had my voltmeter set to the wrong setting and it just didn't pick up uh, the 0 0.08 milliamps that was going through the line. Uh, again, a lot of this is still confusing to me. <laughs> As you look at the rat's nest of wiring, you wonder why. 
Uh, all in all, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, of course, all this stuff, I've, I've left this stuff loose until I'm 100% sure what I'm gonna do with my power and, and my computer. Uh, I think this will eventually probably get some Velcro on it and will attach here somewhere. So all of my controls are coming out this end of the layout. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm well satisfied. This is, this is really my third attempt, my, my third legitimate attempt at a model railroad. Uh, you know, as far as what I've done before, this is literally light years ahead of it. Here's the control panel. So, uh, I think I'm, I'm through for a while with the wiring. I'm, I've still, like I said, I've still got semaphores to do and all of that will be controlled with this node, which is the uh, signal LCC. Uh, and it's probably overkill for two semaphores if I use two semaphores, but I'm also planning on lighting all of my buildings with this device as well. Uh, that'll be a whole nother adventure, but I'm ready to give wiring a break for a while and actually start working on some scenery. I'm gonna flip it over and actually run some trains.
about you Can you tell me how it feels to Never ever have enough time to play at all You know everybody wants to Walk in someone else's shoes Everyone's forgotten 